Hello, my dear Wanderers, and welcome to the wonderful World Kids Podcast. Have you ever noticed how sluggish you get when you don't eat? There is a reason for that. Your body needs food to fuel it, just like how a car needs fuel. So, it is important to eat food, and it is also important to spread out your food throughout the day. Otherwise, you will feel sick if you eat too much at once. This is why it's recommended that we eat three to four meals a day, like breakfast, lunch, snack, and dinner. But just eating anything we want is not a good idea, because different foods give our body different kinds of nutrients. So it is very important to eat balanced meals each day. And so, today we are talking about food groups. The food we eat can be divided into three groups: energy-giving food, body-building food, and protective food. Energy-giving foods give us strength to do our daily activities. Body-building foods help us grow taller and stronger, and it helps us build strong bones and muscles. and protective foods help us build a strong immune system so that we can stay healthy and fight off germs and diseases now let's see what types of foods and nutrients fall under these three categories we begin with energy giving foods this category includes carbohydrates and fats carbohydrates are found in grain and grain products such as bread cereal pasta and rice Carbohydrates are also found in starchy vegetables such as potatoes, sweet potatoes and yams. Fats are also a type of energy giving food. Fats are very high in calories. So a small amount of fat can supply us with lots of energy. Fats are used to keep our bodies warm. Fats are also required for proper absorption of fat soluble vitamins vitamins a d e and k are fat soluble some healthy sources of fats are nuts avocado eggs and fatty fish but remember if we eat more than required amount of fat then it gets stored in our body in fatty tissues which makes us fat and that can lead to several diseases in future so it is important to consume fats in moderation now let's move on to body building foods this category includes foods that give us proteins proteins help us grow taller and stronger and repair damages to our body proteins help us build strong bones and muscles our nails and hair are made of a type of protein called keratin our body is made up of more than 10000 different types of proteins so what are the different foods that give us protein we can get protein from animal based products such as eggs meat fish and dairy products like milk and cheese we can also get protein from plant based sources like beans nuts pulses and tofu So far we spoke about energy giving foods and body building foods but our body also needs to build a strong immune system so that we can fight off the germs if they enter our body and for that we need to eat protective foods these are the foods that give us vitamins and minerals fruits like oranges strawberries or bananas and leafy greens and vegetables like spinach broccoli or carrots are packed with vitamins and minerals now let's see what are these vitamins and minerals that we need our body needs vitamins a b c d e and k so now you see just like how it is important to learn your abc's for your education It is important to learn the ABCs of vitamins for good health. Out of these vitamins, our body can produce vitamins D and K to some extent. Vitamin D is produced by our body 
when our skin is exposed to sunlight. And vitamin K is produced by certain gut bacteria. But we need to get all other vitamins through food. Vitamin A is needed to keep our eyes, skin, teeth and bones healthy. It is found in many dark green and orange colored vegetables and fruits such as carrots, spinach, kale, tomatoes and sweet potatoes. Vitamin B converts food into energy. It is found in meats, nuts, fish and dairy. Vitamin C is required to fight off germs and build a strong immune system. Some of the foods containing vitamin C are broccoli, bell peppers and citrus fruits like oranges and lemons. Vitamin D is required for strong bones and teeth. Fatty fish, dairy products, eggs and sunlight are some of the best sources of vitamin D. Vitamin E is important for your brain, eyes, immune system and heart. Nuts, seeds and certain vegetable oils such as safflower oil and sunflower oil are good sources of vitamin E. Vitamin K helps in blood clotting. So, when your skin gets a cut and starts bleeding, the blood needs to clot and stop further bleeding. This is where vitamin K helps. Some of the sources of vitamin K are green leafy vegetables, broccoli, Brussels sprouts and cabbage. Apart from these vitamins, our body also needs several minerals. Minerals are inorganic substances that occur naturally in the earth's crust. Some examples of minerals are gold, copper, iron and manganese. Minerals are required to keep our bones, muscles, heart and brain working properly. They are also needed for making enzymes and hormones. The minerals that our body needs can be divided in two groups, macro minerals and trace minerals. We need larger amounts of macro minerals, for example calcium and potassium and very small amounts of trace minerals like zinc and iodine. So, how do we get these minerals? Should we start eating rocks to get these minerals? No, we don't need to eat rocks to get minerals. Plants bring up minerals from the soil because they need it for their own growth. So, we get minerals when we eat those plants or when we eat animals who have eaten those plants. Nuts, dairy products, fruits and vegetables are some good sources of minerals. Now, so far we spoke about 5 essential food groups that we have to include in our everyday meals. They are carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins and minerals. Apart from these, our body also needs fiber and water. So, what is fiber? Fiber is a type of carbohydrate found in plants that our digestive tract does not break down or absorb like other carbohydrates. Fiber is required to move food through the digestive tract easily. In other words, fiber is required for creating poop. Now, you might find it yucky to talk about poop, but it plays a very, very, very important role in keeping you healthy. Because this is how our body throws out all the waste. Good sources of fiber are whole grains, beans, nuts and fruits and vegetables. And drinking water does more than just quench your thirst. Water is very important to keep your body functioning properly. Water regulates body temperature. It dissolves nutrients from the food and carries them to different parts of your body. It flushes out waste from your body. It helps create the saliva in your mouth and it carries oxygen to your entire body. Always remember, we are what we eat. So keep the packaged food like candy, soda and chips to a minimum. And consume lots of fresh fruits and vegetables. We hope our today's episode will help you make 
healthy eating choices. And this brings us to the end of our today's episode. Thank you so much for listening. Please reach out to us and let us know what you think about our podcast. Is there something you are curious about? We can help you learn more about it in one of our future episodes. So please send us your episode suggestions at wonderfulworld.gills at gmail.com. In our next episode, we are going to talk about a food item which is produced by insects. It was the first sweetener discovered by humans in ancient times. So, what do you think is the topic of our next episode? Send us your answers at wonderfulworld.gills at gmail.com. Our email address is also mentioned in our show notes. This was episode number 3 where we spoke about food groups. Thank you for listening. See you next week. And until then, keep on wondering. Wondering.